Dr. Charles Bardas is the most decorated teacher in the history of Weill Cornell Medical College. Since joining the faculty in 1989, he has received 27 teaching awards, including the college's highest recognition, the Siegel Family Faculty Award. Having served as the medicine clerkship director for more than 17 years, today Dr. Bardas is co-leading the implementation of Weill Cornell's new medical education curriculum. His colleagues and students attribute his success as a medical educator in large part to his thoughtfulness and keen awareness of all the elements that comprise a whole and complete person. Clinical medicine is the meeting of two people, the patient and the physician, for a common purpose. There's not only the objective phenomena of disordered biology, but the physician should be alert to the subjective experience of being ill. Not only what's broke, but what does it mean to the patient? What's the patient's story? And if they come together aware of these larger meetings, rather than just clinical throughput, that keeps our essence alive. I'd like the students to understand that what we conceive now as fact is undergoing constant flux. Uh, all of our putative facts exist within context that are historically, culturally, and socially conditioned. So that if they pay attention to the way in which the knowledge is changing, they won't be stuck in just the knowledge of the present. My wife, Barbara Kilpatrick, and my children, John and Emma, have just been wonderfully supportive and stimulating. I've had many great teachers, but two really inspired teachers. One from the University of Pennsylvania was Maria Delavoria Papadopoulos, a completely inspired neonatal uh, pediatrician. At Cornell, Dr. Joseph Hayes has been my clinical mentor for many, many years. My main clinical partner is Althea Scott, and she's just been a wonderful comrade in arms for 25 years now, actually. And I think to admissions where Liliana Montano and Lori Nicolaisen have been really have showed me the ropes and taught me how to do admissions. And I could name a hundred other people. I would have to say that while Cornell Medical College in general has been extremely hospitable to my interests and has taken my own somewhat unorthodox career and, and made it possible.